Uh, and essentially what this means is that when we have it checked, the uh, value of this is on, and then when we check it again, the value is nothing. So we don't have a value. We The value attribute is, is defined, but we don't actually have a value. So what we can do now is we can go ahead and check that this state is on or off. Now, halfway through the tutorial, I've completely changed my mind, and I thought to myself, and I've sort of thought to myself, well, when we check this, we just want to enable this, and when we uncheck it, we want to disable it again. Uh, so we'll go with that. It's probably a bit more practical for those of you that want to go ahead and use this. So I'm going to create uh, an if statement, and the condition is if if state is on. So if the state is on. That means that we agree and we can go ahead and enable the button. Otherwise, if the state is equal to nothing, we want to go ahead and uh, disable the button once again. So we'll focus on disabling the button again. Uh, well, sorry, we'll focus on enabling uh, enabling the button first. And with this, we're using remove attribute, which is what the whole tutorial, the point of the tutorial is about. So we want to reference this. Obviously, again, our currently selected object. And we want to use remove attribute, and we're going to def we're going to sort of you know tell uh, this function if you like which attribute we want to remove, and the attribute we want to remove completely is the disabled attribute. So this will literally just get rid of this like that. So that's all we're doing with this button here. And uh, oh, in actual fact, sorry, no, it's not this. It's hash continue because we're referencing the button itself sorry we're not referencing the checkbox so we're removing the attribute disabled uh, let's just go ahead and check that out so when I click on it we're going to uh, it will obviously change we'll grab the state if the state is equal to on ie if it's checked like we saw earlier when we alerted it out we're going to go ahead and remove the attribute from this continue button here so when we click it you can see that that's enabled now obviously when we uncheck it, we still have a state change, but now we're stuck with the enable button. If, for example, I click on agree and then I don't agree, uh, and I uncheck, I won't want to continue, or I won't want my users to continue if I was to you know, have this on, on my website. So if the state is equal to, uh, equal to nothing when we, or we could say null here, uh, which would be better. If the state is equal to null when we have changed the checkbox, i.e. has it been unchecked, uh, we want to go ahead and re-disable the continue um, button. So we want to add the attribute disabled and the value of this is disabled, much like we did before. This here, let's just bring it down, uh, is the equivalent to disabled equals disabled like that. So that's how uh, that looks inside of um, jQuery. However, when we apply it to the element, it will you know, create the attribute. So uh, once again, when we click it, we enable the button. But now when we uncheck it, uh, in actual fact, I think that's probably, that's probably because it doesn't equal null. It's just a blank value. Yeah, OK. So now when we click it, click it um, the value or the state of this from the value is equal to on. Um, otherwise, if the state is equal to nothing, which it is when we uncheck it, then we go ahead and add this attribute disabled to the button again. So we're sort of like toggling between uh, states, if you like. So you could go ahead and you could sort of apply this to a form, and then at the end of the form, you could have this agree button, and then continue. You know, you might have um, this here uh, wrapped around a form like this. Uh, and then you might have some agreement here. And then they would read the agreement and either agree and then continue to submit the form or uh, or they could uncheck and then they wouldn't be able to click. Uh, just bear in mind that this is a button type. So to have it actually submit the form, uh, you would have it as a submit type. And obviously, because we're referencing by the ID, uh, this doesn't make a difference and it still works. So we can click continue and we can submit the form. Uh, you see, we've just got a little question mark here. But obviously, if you had an action, it would submit. So that's how we've toggled between this using uh, remove attribute was the focus of this tutorial. Uh, however, you know, it's boring just to talk about one attribute without its practical application. So I've uh, popped it into this small little uh, piece of functionality. Uh, that goes ahead, goes ahead and uh, toggles this based on a checkbox uh, value.